Boxing truth here. Wanted to talk about Sergey Kovalev. His next fight is it's set as the done deal, and how he's being criticized by Sullivan Barrera, a guy who has turned down to fight him not once but twice. Sullivan Barrera's got some some balls criticizing Kovalev, even though Kovalev has offered him to fight twice, has offered him more guaranteed purses, has offered him main event money on more than one occasion, and Barrera turns it down for whatever reason. And yet, Barrera continues to throw shots at Kovalev because of his opponents coming off the fight to Andre Ward. Not the elite light heavyweights of the world, but world-rated guys. Kovalev's next fight is a done deal, set for March 3rd at the theater at Mass Square Garden. He'll be fighting Igor Makulin, a current IBO light heavyweight champion, a top world-rated guy. Number 5 by WBC, number 7 by WBA. So the guy's well-rated. Is he an elite fighter? No. Is he on Kovalev's level? No. But nobody's on Kovalev's level in the lightweight division. Not even your boy Andre Ward, who needed corruption to beat him. So it's yet to be proven, it's out there, that any light heavyweight is on Kovalev's level. Even bum-ass paper lineal champion Adonis Stevenson. The thing is... If Barrera doesn't want to fight him, and Barrera, he'd rather fight Bevel for less money. And I'm not surprised he's fighting Bevel. But I would, I thought Barrera would consider the Kovalev fight since it's main event money. It's more money than a Bevel shot. And perhaps Bevel might be a more dangerous fight since he's a lot hungrier, a lot younger than, than Kovalev, but not as experienced as Kovalev. So Barrera is taking a risk, a calculated risk. He feels Bevel is a less threatening fight. He feels Bevel doesn't have the experience, not as seasoned as Sergey Kovalev. So he feels it's a more winnable fight at this point. And if he's going to take an L to Kovalev, he might as well have some hardware to go with it. Make the fight into a unification fight where he'll get perhaps even a bigger purse to fight Kovalev since bringing some hardware to the table will only increase Barrera's purse for a possible eventual fight with Kovalev if he can get past Dimitri Bevel, who he has opted to face on the undercard for undercard money. And that's the choice he is going to take, that he's going to live with, whether it's the right choice, who knows. In my humble opinion, I don't think he beats either guy. But we'll see. Maybe Bevel is not as crack- all he's cracked up to be. But his handlers sure seem to think that he is the goods. And they feel that they have a potential light heavyweight king for the for the future. So we'll see how Barrera fares against Dimitri Bevel on the undercard on March 3rd at the Theater of the Mass Square Garden. But the thing is, I don't understand why he's taking shots with Kovalev. I mean, who the fuck is Kovalev supposed to fight if you're not going to fight him, Barrera? If you're going to turn down to fight him, who the hell do you want Kovalev to fight? Uh, Alexander Gavatsvik, he's number one for WBO, but he's going the WBC route. He's going to fight an eliminator, hopefully against Eldo Alvarez. Alvarez, that that fucking idiot, steps aside knowing that he's going to have to fight an eliminator to fight the nail. And if, if he refuses, he will lose his mandatory status, and rightfully so. Three step-aside deals, I don't know how many. I've, I've lost count. The guy doesn't want to take his title shot, and as a result might actually lose his mandatory status for denying, for refusing to fight Gavatsvik for an eliminator, a final eliminator, in order to hang on his mandatory position. That's the the consequences you deal with when you continue to step aside. The organization will deem you as unworthy and make you fight for your line, for your mandatory status once again. So Gavatsvik's going the WC route. Offer better be of, he has a promotional situation that's still up in the air, still hasn't been resolved. He can't fight really much anybody until that shit's situated. So until that situation resolves itself, Kovalev can't unify with Bitterbiev until Bitterbiev's promotional situation is straightened out. The fight's not realistic right now. So he's off the table. Adonis Stevenson, bum-ass, lineal light heavyweight champion of the world, doesn't want to fight anybody. But now, perhaps, he may fight a live body in his next fight against Badu Jack. He hasn't wanted to fight Kovalev for years, so don't expect that fight to be made. So he's pretty much off the table. Bevel is fighting Barrera. 
So who the hell do you want Kovalev to fight? Who else is out there? Especially among the WO rankings. What better opponent is out there for Kovalev to fight on March 3rd? Since Barrera doesn't want to fight him. Bebo's not available. Better Bebev has a promotional situation. Adonis Stevenson is not going to fight Kovalev. Gavatsvik is going to go the WC route. So who is Kovalev supposed to fight? Don't understand the criticism. He's trying to fight yo ass Barrera, but you keep turning it down. I understand you want more money to the table for a Kovalev fight. You view that as a very dangerous fight, and rightfully so. You you don't have the style to to beat Kovalev. You don't have the chin to beat Kovalev. You're tailor-made for Kovalev. So if you're going to take that fight, you're going to want the most money possible on the table. And I'm not going to knock that. Don't criticize the crusher, dog. He tried to, he's always trying to fight the best available guys. And this guy is pretty much the best available guy. He's a decent opponent, not a bad fighter. He just doesn't have the abilities of Kovalev. <laughs> I don't think many heavyweights really do, though. There'll be another title defense for Kovalev. He should knock Igor out. Just doesn't have the firepower. Decent boxer, just he doesn't punch very hard. He doesn't have the explosiveness of Kovalev. He just doesn't have what it takes to beat Kovalev. But Kovalev's going to stay active. He's going to get another fight in the first quarter of next year. And hopefully he can get a unification. Whether that's with you, Barrera, or with Bevel sometime late 2018. That fight's not ripe enough yet just yet. But he will most likely be the unification fight that Kovalev gets in 2018. If Better Bev can get his port promotional situation sorted out, because I know Kathy Duva wants to make that unification fight first, since there's a much bigger storyline and a much more of a hook for that promotional, from a promotional aspect to make that fight with Kovalev and Better Bev. And I hope that's that's how it goes. Kovalev makes his title defense, fights Better Bev in unification, trashes him, and then he fights. The winner of Bevel versus Barrera in late 2018, and that that would pretty much sum up a strong 2018 for Kovalev. If he can get three fights in and maybe two unifications, it's it's a lot harder to do than than said. Shit has to get situated. Uh, stuff has to happen. Fights need to be made. Results need to be in on on certain fights, and then we'll see how Kovalev does in his next title defense. But I don't expect him to have much trouble with this Igor guy. Not the best elite light heavyweight out there, but he's still a, a rated guy that's gonna come come to win, try to beat Kovalev, but he just doesn't have what it takes. But Barrera. Let's see if you made the right choice to fight Bevel for for less money. Who's a, who's hungrier and and younger than Kovalev, and he may just be as as a difficult a fight. You keep getting dropped in a lot of your fights. You haven't shown the sturdiest of chins. You do have heart. I'll give you that. But we'll see how you do against Bevel. But I don't think you're gonna pass this test. Might as well have taken that Kovalev fight for main event money instead of taking short money to fight a, a much hungrier champion. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.